Hey everybody, what's up? This is Danny, the Wicked Awesome Gardener, coming at you from the Wicked Awesome Garden. It's still gorgeous outside, so we're out here, and today we are planting peas. So what I have here in this bowl is a mixture of peas. I have some snow peas, some sugar snap peas, and these really cool purple peas that I found. Uh, can't wait to see, to see how those look. But you want to soak your peas in water for at least an hour. Most people do overnight. Um, today I was a little pressed for time, so I prepped these this morning. They've been soaking for about three hours, and you see they've swollen up quite a bit from how tiny they were before. But this helps soften the outer covering and should get you a faster, better germination rate. So you put your peas in the bowl, you add about twice as much water as there are peas, and then you are ready to go. An additional step that some people take, and I am going to do that today, is using inoculant. Now this is not required, your peas will grow just fine without it. But peas and beans are nitrogen fixing plants. What that means is they have the ability to take nitrogen from the air and pull it down and fix it into their roots and feed it into the soil. And this inoculant actually helps them do that. It's a um, rhizome bacteria. I, I'm not sure on all the terminology, but it's a bacteria that works in a symbiotic relationship with the peas and helps them to put those, put that nitrogen down in the soil and fix them into nodules on the roots. So we're going to use a little bit of this in that water and let them sit for a little bit while I finish getting everything set up. Well, we got chased out of the garden by rain yesterday, so the peas have been sitting just about 24 hours, and now we're gonna get them in before the rain starts all over again. Peas are just about the easiest things in the world to plant. We're just going to dig a trench, plop a pea in every couple of inches, and I'm not particular about which peas I'm having growing where. We've got the purple peas, the snap peas, the snow peas. They're just going to go in as I grab them. I don't know what happened in my trowel when I moved. I'm going to have to get a new one. So we're just going to dig one. No big deal. Peas don't mind being a little crowded. If we have to thin them a little, that's fine. Pea shoots are entirely edible. So here we go. I'll just throw one every inch or so. And like I said, a pea shoot harvest not a bad thing. You just want to make sure that you have enough for when they germinate. Because if you have a couple that germinate, then you've got a big wide gap. And that's wasted space. You don't want that. It's like some sort of green bead. That's not a pea, that's a bead. <laughs> and yes, we're growing lots and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of peas. These are so great for snacking. They're one of my favorite things to grow in the garden. So I am definitely not going to have too many. You, you just, I, I just cannot have too many peas. It's not possible.
So I definitely prepared too many peas. <laughs> but we're going to go ahead and cover them up. I've sewed them very thickly. But, oh well. <laughs> so I'm just going to come down and just cover them over. Still some big chunks of soil in here. Some of them had little rocks in, in there. I overestimated how many peas I could fit in the space, so I've got a whole bunch left. But rather than have these go to waste, I'm going to start them in four inch pots and I will use the extras for my seedling sale. So I definitely have plenty of peas left. So I'm gonna put about five in each of these. So I do like to start my peas outside, but a lot of people do prefer to go from starts and that's fine. Decided to up the ante here and put six in each because wow I have a lot of extra peas I did go just a little crazy this year on buying seeds so I probably should have saved some of these for my fall planting of peas but that's okay I'm sure at least peas will hopefully still be in abundance when uh when it comes time to plant in fall. Not being particularly careful about where I'm placing these. They're easy enough to tease apart once they get established. And it looks like I'll have to prepare another tray. But I am going to come in and just sprinkle a little more soil on the top. I'm just putting these in potting mix. Um, peas aren't as delicate as some other plants. So they'll just pop right up through. Now with the peas outside, I would have gone and watered them in, but it did start to pour rain. So those are going to be watered in just fine by mother nature. These, however, will get a nice drink from the watering can. Because I've planted these rather deep into the pots, I don't have to worry about the water pooling and running off to the side. So there we go, peas sown directly outdoors as well as started inside in pots. These will go under a humidity dome until they germinate, then we'll take the dome off, they'll be under the lights, and these should be for sale in about three weeks when I have my first seedling sale. If you're local, maybe I'll see you here. Get on our Facebook group, Wicked Awesome Gardening. We have a group, we have a Facebook page, come and join us there. Check out the community if you're local. You'll be able to find out when and where I will be selling these peas. Until then, I am going to be counting the days and eagerly awaiting the day that I get my first fresh snap pea out of the garden. There is nothing better, except maybe your first fresh tomato. Oh, that's the best. But we're almost there, guys. 
there is lettuce and spinach sprouting in my garden as we speak. The first little seedlings have poked above the ground. You'll see that soon. I discovered them while filming my trellis video, so there's a little peek in there. But garden tours are coming soon. We'll get you another tour of the grow room pretty soon as well. I just need to get the grow room back under control because it's gotten a little out of hand. Send help. But there's lots of fun stuff growing in here. The tomatoes are getting huge. You won't even believe it. So I will see you soon, guys. If you enjoyed this video and you want to see more, please click here for more content. Don't forget to like and subscribe to stay up to date on our latest videos. Thank you so much for watching. I'm really excited to go through this journey with you while we grow something wicked awesome from yard to table.